Hello everyone, welcome to 2022 Taiwan International Water Week. I'm your host, Tracy Wong. Here we are at the booth of Fluence Corporation and standing next to me is Mr. Tony Hargrave, Chief Operating Officer of Global Operation. Welcome to International Taiwan Water Week. Thank you for joining us. And uh, we know that Fluence is well known for its water treatment solution. Can you briefly introduce your company for us? Sure, and hello to you, Tracy. It's a pleasure uh, for us to be here at the Taiwan International Water Week. So Fluence is a, a company that is listed on the Australian Stock Exchange. Uh, we are headquartered in the United States of America and we provide water treatment, wastewater treatment and desalination solutions in the small to uh, medium sized space. And one of our uh, breakthrough uh, technologies is our MABR technology which uh, was developed by our uh, team in Israel where our uh, main research and development facility is uh, located. Uh, we have more than 300 references uh, using this, this uh, technology now, which uh, makes us uh, uh, the, the world leader uh, with a 95% market share. So that is on the uh, wastewater side. We also have uh, installed more than 120 desalination units in uh, containerized desalination units, uh, which are housed in 40-foot shipping containers, which are obviously very quick to deploy uh, and easy to install. Thank you. We can see that you brought a lot of exciting technologies this time with you. Uh, can you introduce uh, one or two of them for us? Yes, perhaps I could just start by explaining how our MABR technology works. This is a proprietary and patented technology. Uh, and in the wastewater uh, treatment process, the uh, aeration side of uh, the process is extremely energy intensive. And we have uh, developed MABR as a uh, energy efficient alternative to this uh, method of aeration. It basically works on the principle of passive aeration whereby the uh, oxygen diffuses through, through the membrane from the air side of the membrane to the water side of the membrane where a uh, fixed biofilm uh, uh, starts to, to grow. Uh, and this means that 95% of the oxygen that is produced by the blower is actually consumed uh, or, or transferred to the water, whereas typically only 30% of, uh, uh, of oxygen would be transferred to the wastewater using typical um, uh, aeration methods. All right, that is really a breakthrough, uh, especially in terms of the energy uh, efficiency. So uh, are there any uh, products you would like to yeah, specify? Yes, certainly. Uh, can I just add, uh, on top of the energy efficiency, we also, uh, it's a very robust process for removing ammonia and total nitrogen hmm. uh, through a process we know uh, as simultaneous nitrification and denitrification. And this can take place in, in, in the, in the uh, single unit itself, meaning that we only need to use one basin rather than two. And the advantage of that is we have a much smaller footprint than uh, other technologies. Right. So we can see here uh, we have a spiral. This is uh, the product you bring to the Taiwan International Water Week this time. Can you uh, briefly introduce this uh, product for us? Certainly. So the spiral range of solutions are our containerized solutions using uh, our MABR technology. And as I say, they start from the uh, a very small point of use uh, unit, the micro we call it, suitable for uh, 30 or 40 people. Uh, we then have a, a, a unit uh, installed in a 20 foot shipping container, which is suitable for 350, uh, 400 uh, people. The next size up is based on a uh, standard uh, 40 foot shipping container. You can see a, a model of it here, uh, and that treats uh, the needs for around 750 people. And then the larger one uh, uh, can treat uh, the needs for around 2,000 people. So this is our Suba technology for use in uh, larger applications. Uh, these uh, Suba towers, as we call them, can be simply dropped into uh, concrete tanks uh, to provide the uh, MABR treatment uh, uh, solution. We also see that you brought desalination solution to this show. Uh, can you briefly introduce that for us as well? Certainly, we uh, have a range of uh, containerized desalination uh, units. We call it our near a box family of solutions. Uh, we have a solution for uh, seawater uh, desalination, for brackish water desalination, and for uh, freshwater treatment. Uh, on the seawater desalination front, we have uh, three different sizes, but the largest of which has a, uh, uh, is able to produce uh, 1,500 cubic meters of uh, treated water per day, which is sufficient for the, the needs of uh, 10,000 people. So 
10,000 people uh, from a standard 40-foot shipping container. Water is scarce in many parts of the world, and uh, it is really exciting to see these solutions um, here shown at the International Water Week. Thank you, Mr. Hargrave. Thank, Thank you. you.